Hey, 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 all right. Well, another day heading out to some of Fresno County's day use parks. Don't worry, I got my $5. They all cost $5 entrance fee. Um, actually, I have several $5 bills this time, just in case I make uh, the trip to a couple of parks, which I plan to do. Um, first off, I'm gonna hit up a couple of smaller spots. Uh, from what I understand, mainly fishing spots, Kings River Access Park and uh, Greenbelt Park. Uh, both of which are just off the 180 highway, which takes you up to Kings Canyon. Um, after that, uh, I'm going to head over to Avocado Lake Park, which is just south of uh, Winton Park. All right, so we're heading east out of town on the 180 freeway. You know you're getting close when you hit this brand new stretch of tarmac. Now we're keeping our eye out for Rio Vista on the left. And wouldn't you know it, the park's closed. And we're just gonna continue down a little bit on the 180 till we find Piedra Road, head up about a half a mile mile or so and on your left the green belt So that green belt spot offers a couple of cool spots for fishing, but I'm not much of a fisherman, so we're heading back north up Piedra Road, and we're gonna be looking out for the turnoff for Avocado Lake Park. And here we are, hanging a quick left. Looks like there's an attendant. Always pay your $5 fee. I've learned my lesson. Wow, look at this. Oh man, what a cool looking lake. <laughs> mm. Moving along, it looks like you can get across to the other side here. But wouldn't you know it, it's really rough rock. I'm not dealing with that. Let's just stay to the asphalt today. Stick to the tarmac. Holy moly. You know, I was just thinking, in times like these, it's really nice to be able to go to awesome places like this and to have all the comforts of your home right there along with you. <laughs> another awesome day use park i had no idea i mean it's yeah it's called avocado lake but lost lake was called lost lake and there's no lake that i ever saw there but there's definitely a lake here at avocado lake man
what a cool spot this is. I got a great place to park right here. So I'm just gonna kind of get myself set up, probably get the drone ready, fly that for a little bit, get some cool shots of the area, and just kind of have a nice chill day here. Yeah, that's not good. The gimbal's having problems. I tried recentering it, recalibrating it manually using auto calibration. Nothing doing. It's junked up. It's kind of stuck in this weird position. Well, I really didn't want to make a video about drones today, but it looks like I'm left with no choice. Um, as you can see, the gimbal on my drone is malfunctioning. And that's a problem. This is my fifth drone. Let me reemphasize. This is my fifth DJI Mavic Mini, specifically. Why do I have... So many drones? No, I don't have five drones. This is the fifth time I've had it replaced or the fourth time I've had it replaced. So a couple of those times were definitely user error. I like to fly through small spaces sometimes to kind of see what I can get away with and I've crashed it a few times, but that's why I pay for insurance, right? But a couple other times were mechanical errors like uh, the bottom sensor, of which the Mavic Mini only has the the bottom sensor, only has the one sensor, that has failed on at least two occasions. One of which resulted in it diving into Huntington Lake. I pushed return to home, which should fly it to the designated altitude, which I have set at 100 feet, and then fly back to where it took off from. Well, that time when I pushed return to home, it just started descending straight down into the lake. By the time I realized it was doing that, I tried to push up on the stick and it, that did nothing. It just completely dropped into the lake where it sat for about a month. I went out several times in canoes and other boats. I knew about the area it was in. Uh, you know, a good feature it has within the app is a find my drone. So I knew like the last place the drone was pinged to GPS, which was probably about 20 to 50 feet offshore in kind of a shallow area. So I thought I'd be able to recover it. I never could find it. I went out, I found a lot of beer bottles. That's about it. I'm sitting at camp one day and I get a text uh, from the marina saying that somebody found my drone. And sure enough, a young father-son duo were out fishing, having no luck, and they got bored, and they were just kind of zipping around, and the boy spotted something, dove in, and sure enough, he pulled out my drone. Now, they were able, after a month of it sitting in the water, they were able to recover the SD card and my last footage. And from watching the footage on there, they saw two things. They saw 
my van. Eh, pretty distinct, right? Noticeable. And they saw that I had taken off from the marina. So they went back there. And of course, the guys there knew that I'd been looking for my drone for like the last month. So immediately they sent them my way. By the time I closed my phone from responding to that text message, I heard off in the distance, hey, Greg, Greg? And I popped my head out and sure enough, there they were, a nice father, son. They uh, are cabin owners there. <clears throat> they returned it, didn't want anything in return. And I was happy because instead of buying a new drone, which would have sent me back four or $500, now I just have to pay 40 bucks and uh, wait for DJI to fix it and replace it. So this is the one they sent me. Ever since I got it, like the gimbal, when it's off, it kind of sat a little askew. I always have to kind of move it a little bit to make sure that the housing fit on that protects it when it's sitting in the case. And uh, so I've been flying it for about a month or so now, and lo and behold, here we are again. I guess I have to send it back. Go for number six. I might have set a record, DJI. You might just wanna start, you know, sending me two drones at a time if they're not gonna work. Oh, I, I ranted on enough. I'm gonna try and get some nice shots with my phone as the sun goes down, because this is a beautiful park, and I don't want to ruin the mood with me going on droning about drones. <laughs> Another great day at a day use park, drone problems aside. I really like Avocado Lake Park and I plan on coming back to visit again in the future. To my surprise, actually there is cell phone service here at Avocado Lake Park, right up the way at Winton Park, absolutely no cell service. So I've had a lot of fun checking out these parks. Uh, I have a couple more on my list I will plan to check out. But there's also city parks to think about, state parks, national parks. Most of them you can get annual passes for. A lot of them seniors get in for free. That's something to keep in mind. But always keep in mind, pay your park fee. If not, you're gonna get kicked out.